All right, I'm going to work on his hand and his forearm, and I'm going to do that in uh, monster clay. But uh, that will probably be the last thing I do on this thing for now. Um, I'll take it to the foundry sometime uh, this week or next and get a bid on it, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. All right, everybody, be right, be right back to get back on the uh, hand. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've got uh, a little jury rig here. This is a uh, fly tying rig that I can adjust the angle and uh, all that stuff with. I forgot I even had this. And uh, this is what I'm going to do the hand on. Whoop. Drop my clay. Where did I drop it at? I, I swear, things start disappearing in this studio. I've got a uh, GoPro camera that I dropped on the floor. I still can't find it. It's just like it fell into a black hole. Anyway. The uh, palm of the hand is about a half, from the wrist to the knuckles, is about one half head length. And uh, that's what I'm going to be working with for scale. So even though I'm working away from the, the figure, I've got to try to work out the uh, size of the hand so that uh, it all works out in the end. Now, I'm not going to show everything because I cover a lot of this stuff in my instructional videos, so... I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I'm kind of hard me for for me to do this with and keep it in the camera. Okay, I've added the first finger. Now the finger won't be sticking out straight, but I got to start with a finger in the right position here and then uh, I'll fold it into the right position when I get to that point. All right, this is looking at the uh, palm side of the uh, hand. And I'm trying to work this out the best I can. Okay, this is the back of the hand.
I dropped it. It's really hard working on this size of a hand. Okay, I'm going to have to come back when I get this hand just about done because it's impossible for me to work this small with the camera right in front of my face. So I'll be right back. Okay, I took it out of it. The, uh... Vice. And I'm working in clay now. Using the, uh... Monster clay as the, uh... Base because it's stiffer than my J-Mac plastiline clay. trying to do the knuckles. And this is a real gentle touch. Because if I press too hard, I'll ruin the whole thing. This is probably the hardest thing I've done on this whole piece. Adding another knuckle. Yeah, it doesn't want to stick. There we go. Doggone it. All right, this is the last thing I'm going to do today on the hand. I'm going to work on it tomorrow. It's taken me quite a while to even get this far. And uh, still got a little more work to do on it. But I think I'm, I'll be able to finish it tomorrow. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to put the uh, new hand up here. See if it looks too big. No, it looks fine. It's always hard to work away from the figure because you just don't know how it's going to look when you put it back together with the figure. But I think it works out just fine. Anyway, we'll get back on it tomorrow. It's uh, still got a little work to do on the hand, and then I should be able to finish that up. Then i got to work on the uh, sleeve of the shirt and attach the arm and all that stuff. So I'll do that tomorrow. Good night, everybody. See you next time. Sorry it wasn't much today, but uh, sometimes, some days are just detail work. Endless detail work. All right, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.